So I'm over at the TV station and I'm editing uh, Knothead and David Oliva's video that I did while they were opening for Tech 9. And we're here at the TV station with Fran. Hi Fran, thank you so much Fran. And she's going to film me and I'm going to film her. This is really wonderful. And so we're getting ready to edit this and upload it and put it on TV. And this is the footage I took. It's kind of nice to see it because it was a really dark area. The stage was really dark when I filmed it. Thanks, Fran, for filming me too. And this is the TV station. We're here at the TV station and uh, we're getting ready to have Tech 9, this opening act. Tech 9 I didn't film, but I filmed the opening act. And Fran's here at the TV station. She hasn't been here before. This is her first time in Seattle. Last time I saw her, she was in Florida. And um, what is the name of the police officer? David Comadero? Yes, um, the police officer that's harmed my disabled son is David Comadario, Seminole County Sheriff's Department in Florida. And he's not telling you where your son is buried? My son uh, came under his control and he um, got a legal guardianship of a disabled young man, my son, Brad Jeff Burkowski, and hid him from me for four years. I uh, found on the internet that my son died and then he is refusing to tell me if he's buried him or not. And I'd like to find out. I'd like to bury my son. And so. you'd like to find out where your son is? Yes, I'd like to find out where his body is so that I can honor him by having a nice ceremony for him. And uh, David Comadero, the police officer who's the guardian, is not telling you where your son is. He's refusing to tell me. Um, he has a lawyer by the name of Grace Ann Glavin David Comandario's work for um, the judicial system and is friends of the judges in the 18th Judicial Circuit in Sanford, Florida. And he gained guardianship because of his relationship with the judge. And um, they're de definitely protecting the information that I'm seeking. It's a difficult thing to find out through the network, the good old boy network in Sanford, Florida, of where my son's body is. And you also contacted several different politicians and... The state attorney, Archer, in um, Seminole County and um, Stacy Solomon, the particular state attorney, I asked her over a year ago to find out if my son was dead and uh, where he might be buried and... Um, and she left you a voicemail saying she doesn't know he's dead. Yeah. She, she said, hasn't even done anything to right, find um, out the status. That's right. So right now I'm just hoping that I can um, get some interest from people in Longwood, Florida, Sanford, Florida to help me find if my son is in a morgue or uh, you know where he might be buried so I can honor him. And if anybody else has any information about David Comadero they and they're having contact the same kind me. of problem. Yeah at my uh, email address is frangrady.rn at gmail.com. Um, I'd appreciate any information about my son. He was an awesome young man, very bright. He had cerebral palsy, he couldn't hold his head up well. Um, but he was cognitively way above me and most, most people, a very, very deep young man. Um, he always wanted to be an astronaut. He felt like his wheelchair would he could go to space, the International Space Station. He watched all the launches from Florida. He was very interested in that. So I just had a little ceremony for my son where the uh, NASA people, well, I requested that they mention his name in space. So people that I know really seem interested in my son, um, but he was going to inherit quite a bit of money from me and my husband. And Commodario, um, I believe is directly involved with the death of both my husband and my son. And he and hasn't made an accounting and he hasn't told you where your son is buried? He refuses to. 
and so thank you friend yeah thanks for being on my show again <laughs> thank, thank you. you and we're in here at the tv station and we're editing uh, the footage i took at tech nine and we're watching knothead and we're watching david <laughs> olivas and we're just here at the tv station doing some editing thank you friend thank you for um seattle public issues interest show and Janet Christensen O'Brien who is filming me right now and the operators of the station here at the college they have an interest in my son and me and I'm a stranger to them but I'm very grateful I'm very thankful we want to put your show on the air we want to get it out there so people can know okay that would honor Brad Jeff Rakowski my son thank you thank you <laughs>